Good evening. Welcome to the ride. It's good to spend the evening with friends, isn't it? How many of you are there? Hello? I now know that there are three of you. That makes sense. Are any of you first-time riders? Okay, don't worry about a thing. We'll be sure to give you all the instructions you need. Our host will show you the ropes and the cables. That's just a little joke. Player one, go ahead and type in your name. Hey! Nice one, Fonzie. What about your name, player? Thank you very much. And now it's player... Wonderful, thanks. You'll be buzzing in with the letter Q, player one. Q as in Quonset Hut. Player two, please use the letter B as your buzzer. That's B as in Beckenbauer, Frau Beckenbauer. Player three, your buzzer is the letter P as in Parachute, Pants. That's the opening bell. Loosen up your hands and get out on the floor. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by The Man. I can buy and sell you. And now here's your host, Guy Towers! Hey, welcome to the game! So, oh, you got big dreams? Well, I'll try to let you down easy, okay? Let's go! Alrighty, first off, we gotta give you your screws. Alright, EDQ is gonna get some screws, and here you go. Alright, now pay attention and I'll tell you about a new and improved way to screw your neighbor. When you see a question you don't want to answer, buzz in immediately and start hitting the S key. That's S for screw. Now every time you do, you're going to be firing screws into the screen, totally annihilating the question. When you're done blasting, then you force your friend to answer it. That's called screwing flakjack style. So uh, if you're not the one dishing out the screws, you better be reading as fast as you can. Alright, I hope you got all that. What's that? A game of Jack? No? What a capital idea. Tally-ho! It's your buzzer, player three, and let's see how much moolah is in the kitty. Nice! All right, high roller, here's what you're getting. No stocks between meals, you capitalist pig. Hey, you know how sometimes when you're eating chips, you come across one of those brown and green ones? You know, like an old drunk's toenail? Well, say you're enjoying a bag of ruffles when you suddenly bite into a blue chip. What's so darn special about it? It's a stable and reliable chip. All yours, player one. Nope. Take it, player two. Blue chips are proven strong stacks. As opposed to the green chips, which are proven to keep anyone from eating them. I feel sorry for the green chips. Okay, player two, hit your buzzer and show us how much cash we're playing for. Huh, well, it's better than nothing. And it's gonna be called... Capitalists love my Trump roast. Boy, that Donald Trump, he sure is a card. If Donald were a Trump card, which of these could he most likely do? Win over any card of another suit. Player two, grab it! A Trump card will usually win over any card of another suit. Well, unless, of course, it's an Armani suit. Smack your buzzer, player two, and let's find out the cash value of this bad boy. Whoa, hardly worth it, huh? Well, what can you do? This one's called... Saving pennies in a capitalist piggy bank. Okay, do me a favor. There's this one character whose name I can't remember. You know, you know the guy. Well, when you know who I'm talking about, buzz in and type it out, okay? You know, he's a billionaire and he's a bald white guy. He appears in a Broadway musical that's also a movie and he's seen with poo- Now or never, player two, start- How did a man without pupils get so rich, huh? You know, five bucks says he puts on Amy's wig and prances around the room when no one else is around. Let's go, player two, bud. Hungry? It's roadkill time. All right, let me tell you how this game works here. You're gonna get different pairs of things that are somehow related, 
and you're going to see a series of items that may or may not connect the pair. It's your buzzer when you see the item that correctly links the two. I'm giving out a thousand bucks if you get it right, but choose wisely. You lose a thousand dollars every time you're wrong. At the end, there's going to be a bonus question worth bonus cash. Let's just say you should pay close attention to all the correct answers. Got it? Good. We're off. Male deer and Rogers from the 25th century. Where do these two intersect? Chicken pox victims shouldn't, nor should pool players. Dr. Leonard McCoy's nickname and skeleton parts. Loud kisses and loud slaps. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all yellowism for sex? Take the face! Famous rich movie uncles! Brands of jelly! Slang for both! You rock player too! Who's the one to catch here? Uh, let's do it. Player two, hit your buzzer and let's see what's in the kitty. And for your viewing pleasure, wanted, female version of myself. You know, it's so hard for people who are completely obsessed with making money to find time for emotional intimacy. So, um, hey, let's look at who's advertising in the classifieds this week. Let's see. Oh, here's one. Sing Player three, do it! Ha ha ha! Well, Speedy, if you wait next time, you'll actually get to choose from the real answer. Player one! George Jefferson? No, single white male. Single white male. Hello? <laughs> Player two, it's yours if you want it. Alex P. Keaton, the freakily conservative son of hippies on Family Ties. And you know, if his marriage's ratings ever start to fall, they can always have a really cute kid to bring him right back up. All right, player two, buzz in and show us how much dinero this one will be. The Dow Jones Cheerleaders. Okay, 3,189 bucks if you can nail this one. Uh, shall we? Which Chicago sports team could most appropriately change its name to the Chicago Falling Stock Markets? Chicago Player 2, grab it! A falling market is called a bear market. And a receding hairline and expanding gut is called a bear's fan. Player 2, hit that buzzer and let's see what you're going to be going for on this one. This one's called... Was his head really made of meat? Hey, remember the British economist Thomas Malthus and his rather unusual solution for overpopulation? If Thomas Malthus were to replace Sally Struthers in her commercials for Save the Children, which of these would be the most appropriate new name for the foundation? Eat the children and slave the children? Alright, player one, who are you gonna- Player two, you're getting screwed! Come on, screw back! Went for the second choice, huh? Well, let's check it out. Enslave the children? Hmm, isn't that the name of a certain morning talk show hostess's clothing line? <laughs> All yours, player one. 
Redistribute? Huh, sounds like Karl Marx. Speaking of which, let's redistribute some of your wealth. <laughs> Where free, go! Oh, uh, yeah! Thomas Malthus was a 19th century Brit who believed the world's eventual overpopulation would be curtailed when famine killed off the poor. <laughs> uh. Player three, hit your buzzer and lock in the cash for this one. The category is... At least she's not selling hemp chokers. Hey, you remember that old tongue twister, seashell, seashells by the seashore? She sells, she... Well... If she sells, say, shells by the seashore, what might you hear her say? Supermodels! Player two! Player two! Player three, it's revenge time! Answer four, okay, how'd you do? Selling your moon? No, that's a different type of tongue-twisting profession. <laughs> Player one! Player one! I spit on your answer! Patui! <laughs> Balls in your cart, take it, player two. Say shells is a country made up of islands. And it's where they sell rubber baby buggy bumpers. Player two, hit your buzzer and let's see what's in the kitty. Get ready for... Bonds, James Bonds. Questions coming. If you buy a U.S. Savings James Bond, which of these actors' faces will not be on the certificate? Sean Connery, Pierre. You go play. You got an answer, player two. Choice two, huh? Okay, let's see. All right, next. Who wants it? Hit it, player one. Do you expect me to talk? Player three, go! Well, for you, my friend, more is less. <laughs> and now the ever-elusive right answer. To date, Michael Caine has never played James Bond. Because, uh, let's face it, he's not cool enough because his hair's funny. Player one, buzz in. Bingo. There was a yuppie, had a wad, and Doey was his name. O D O U G H D O U G H D O U G H, and then his structures fell. O. All right, welcome to Do. All right, here's a quick explanation of how this thing works. You're gonna get a series of puzzles. When you figure out each answer, wait for the first letter of that answer to get highlighted. Then buzz in. If you're right, I'll give you 500 bucks, and you collect that letter. But I'm taking away 500 every time you're wrong. Be the first one to collect all the letters, and you get the bonus. Got it? Well, I hope so, because here we go. A sugary film on a pastry. Lots of 
is flat because it's what? A holy pastry is called a what? Chocolate rolls that sound like Santa. Letter. The bonus awaits. Blank not serious. Nice job, you humans. No. Nice bonus, player two. Let's look at the current standings. Hey, player two's in the lead. Okay. Okay, player one. And your category is. Klondike Cat never gets his mouse. Hey, remember how that pesky mouse used to taunt Klondike Cat by saying, Savoir faire is everywhere. Suppose he said, Laissez faire is everywhere. What would he be trying to tell Klondike Cat? Come player two! Uh, loosely translated, Laissez faire means let things alone. Of course, if Klondike heeded that advice, there'd be no show. And then what? How can we go on with our lives, huh? Let's go, player two. Plug in and let's see how much cash we're playing for. This baby's gonna be... Roller skating at a tidy profit margin. Hey, remember those soft rockers Air Supply? Oh yeah. Suppose the aging members of Air Supply decide to do an album called Air Supply and Demand. Which of these tracks would you not hear? Even the exchange rates are better. Every free market in the world lost in laissez-faire or the socialism that you love. Player two, grab it! Here I am, the socialism that you love! Air supply and demand is a principle of capitalism, with a high voice and a big afro. Smack your buzzer, player two, and let's find out the cash value of this. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. And each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I'm the money, honey. And remember, your matches have to follow that clue. Have fun. Way to go, player two. Nothing like a victory over two clowns who can't break zero. A wise man once said, give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. Well, I say, Give that man 161.5 million fish, feed him for a lifetime, and he'll never have to fish again. Put all your money into the daily lottery. It's the only hope you have.
You've seen the award-winning TV show. You've bought the 32-part video set. Now, get ready for the next wild step. The Trials of Nature Porcelain Figurine Series. See the adorable field mouse. In the jaws of a hawk. The feisty buck-toothed beaver. Drowning in his river home. The graceful snowy egret. Vomiting up food for her young. Call now, and you'll also get the limited edition grizzly bear. Believing himself in the woods. Animals doing what they do best. Making treasured memories. You took my love. You took my breath. You took my heart. You took everything.